You know the legend, but it's time to uncover the haunting truth about the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> this is Bikini Bottom Mysteries. All who live in Bikini Bottom have heard the tale of the Flying Dutchman. A notorious flirt. You like ponies, I like ponies! Is that a wedding ring? With the ability to distort time, space, and reality itself. So sure, he may seem like a run-of-the-mill spirit, but don't be fooled, because this apparition may not be what he appears. Exhibit A, Suspicious Origins. The legend of the Flying Dutchman strikes fear into the hearts of children everywhere. When he died, they used his body as a window display. Now he haunts the seven seas because he was never put to rest. A haunting story, no doubt. But is it true? Or could it be a shameless lie? There are two problems with this story. Number one, we're not convinced that being used as a fashion display would even upset the Dutchman at all. In fact, all evidence suggests that the Dutchman loves fashion. Looking good. He's obsessed with his fashionable dining sock. He always carries his name brand Souls Bag. He's precious about his beard. My beard! And he even has a perfume department on board his ship. The perfume department! Number two. What if we told you we have the Dutchman on record, blatantly contradicting his own origin story? Hmm, it's a little torn. Of course, it was the shirt I was buried in. He was never put to rest. The shirt I was buried in. Never put to rest. How could he have been buried in that shirt if he was supposedly never... Buried at all. So is this origin story just a lie? Mere propaganda used by Flying Dutchman apologists to justify his horrific ghostly deeds? Which brings us to Exhibit B, Davy Jones. All who are familiar with the legend know that the Flying Dutchman is a servant of Davy Jones. I'm here to escort you to the resting place of all bad undersea folk. Davy Jones Locker! But if this is Davy Jones Locker, then where exactly is Davy? And what's the deal with all these socks? Davy Jones works out a lot. These are his socks. A likely story with only one problem. This is the last known sighting of Davy Jones. A skeleton in the Flying Dutchman's closet. Excuse me, Davy. So whose socks are they really? Who do you know that has a strange affinity for socks? Give me back my socks! Sometimes I like to wear this little sock. Ah, it's a good thing I found my dining sock. Let's break this down. Here's a guy who loves socks. There's a bunch of socks in this locker. And the owner of the locker is a skeleton in this guy's closet? What kind of sicko would go this far just for a place to store his socks? Maybe a lonely sicko. <laughs> Exhibit C. Crippling loneliness. Isn't it strange that SpongeBob has encountered the Flying Dutchman over ten times? Who dares access the Flying Dutchman? That would be me, SpongeBob Access Pants. Stop and ask yourself, how many encounters with powerful undead ghostly psychopomps have you had in your life? One, maybe two, tops? Do you even know what a psychopomp is? But it seems like the Dutchman actually goes out of his way to hang out with SpongeBob. He shows up randomly to teach him how to tie knots. The pencil knot! He drops his anchor right on SpongeBob's house, supposedly by accident. And on multiple occasions, he tries to make SpongeBob part of his ghostly crew. Could that really be a coincidence? Or is it possible that the Dutchman isn't so evil? Could all the haunting really just be a cry for help? Maybe all he ever wanted was a friend. Now that's the Flying Dutchman I know! After all, what good is eternity on a ghost ship if you have no one to share it with? What good is your own personal perfume department if there's no one to comment on how good you smell? And what good's a dining sock if you're dining alone? No one but the skeleton in your closet to keep you company. Excuse me, Davy. So behind all the horrifying imagery, scary stories, and implications of foul play, the Flying Dutchman might just be a lonely pirate looking for a friend. We may never know the truth, but one thing's for sure. One thing's for sure. 
One thing. One. No, oh, forget it. And now, a Bikini Bottom bonus mystery. We all remember this infamous eyelash sweater. What's this thing made of? Eyelashes! But we were recently informed that it appears to be SpongeBob's eyebrows that are missing. And he only had six eyelashes anyway. So what exactly is this sweater made of? And what about this one? I made this one with my tears. How can there be a sweater made out of water if they're already underwater? File this one under W for why don't you just make a normal sweater? Have you seen something strange under the sea? Leave us a comment and tune in next time for more investigations that will blow your pores, strip your scales, and flip your fins. Like, subscribe, and remember, if the pineapple fits, live in it. Yar, love all things SpongeBob? Like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss a new video here on the SpongeBob official YouTube channel. Yar!